Got it. Senator Reid, welcome back to Meet the Press. I wanna, Thank you. I want to pick up on a couple issues I didn't get to get to with him. We're talking about Syria. He brought it up. Uh, the Syria strategy, you heard Richard's reporting on Iraq, but the Syria strategy is something everybody agrees. Nobody quite knows what it is. Are you going to support a resolution giving the president more authority to combat ISIS in Iraq and Syria without knowing what his Syria strategy is? Well, the resolution is based upon the immediate threat of ISIL against the United States. They're holding territory in Iraq uh, against our regional neighbors. It's an international effort. We have uh, the Jordanians flying with us. We have the UAE with us, et cetera. And we have to, I think, uh, concentrate on the most immediate threat. That a threat is ISIL in both Syria and in Iraq. And that's what the authority is requested for. You don't think you have to outline of how you, you know, what, what, okay, you get rid of ISIS, that's fine, what's going to, what, something will replace it in Syria that's probably not going to be friendly to the United States. What we're trying to do, and this is very challenging, uh, is to develop an alternative to the, the radical jihadist in Syria, and that is the Free Syrian Army. We're beginning to train them. We've authorized the training. It's going to take time. We're going to have to build it. We're going to have to introduce it onto the ground. We're going to have to effectively protect it. And hopefully, uh, that will be the, the nucleus for uh, moderate forces to begin to turn the tide in Syria. It's going to take a much longer time. Relatively speaking, you think three in Iraq, years then it should be longer. You, you think three years is too short a time? Oh, I think the resolution for three years, a time limit, is a, a, not appropriate where we don't want to send a signal to uh, the world that mm -hmm. we're, we're there for just so many years. Uh, unfortunately, this battle is going to take a long time. It's a, it's a battle, and you pointed out quite rightly, based upon Richard's reporting, is that some of the fundamental issues are not operational, tactical, military, they're political. Right. The, the engagement of the Sunnis, uh, the allocation of resources within Iraq, even when you get into Syria, what is this political opposition going to look like? Not so much what kind of tactical units we're going to have on the ground. So this is not the months. I think we'd be better off having a resolution that did not have a specific time limit. I do think, though, it does make sense to indicate very strongly that our engagement would be limited in terms of American military personnel. Um, and that, I think, is included within the resolution.